In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a very, very basic, uh, simple UV unwrapping for a cube. So I'm going to press Shift C and get my 3D cursor at the center. I'll now do Shift A and add in a brand new cube. And I'm going to divide my window. I'm going to split my window into a UV image editor. I'm going to go ahead and name this object, I'm going to go ahead and call it Crate1. Um, I'll give it a new material. Call it new material Crate1 Mat. And I'll give it a new texture. Okay, I'll go down here to the image category and I'll choose Open. And for this first crate, and I'm going to do a total of two crates, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose, um, I've got these two crates right here, um, and I'm going to choose this uh, classic wooden crate. Okay, so the texture, I only have one texture, and it's really only of one face. So that one texture is going to be on all six sides. Okay, so now I'm going to come to my UV window. And I already have the texture loaded into Blender, so I'm going to choose the image browser and choose single crate one. I'm going to go to my cube, tab into edit mode. I'm going to do U for unwrap and choose unwrap. So all of the six faces, you might be wondering where they are, and they are in fact stacked on top of each other. I'm going to change my 3D window into a texture view, and pretty much that's it. Um, if all you want to do is have your cube have the exact same texture on all six sides. Um, that's really it. Now, if you want to take it a step further, and I'm just duplicating my lights uh, so everybody can see better. So there we are. Um, if you want any of the uh, sides to be a different texture, uh, you're going to have to unwrap this with a technique uh, using seams, uh, which right now we have not gone over in class, but we will very soon. Okay, so before I finish up on this cube, this cube is way too shiny and way too bright. So I'm going to go to the Material tab, and I'm going to go down here and go to the Specular area, and I'm going to drag that way to zero, so now it's not shiny. It's a little too bright right now. This old weathered cube should be darker. So to do that, really quickly, I'm going to go here to Diffuse, and instead of 0.8, I'm going to go ahead and drag that down to about 0.4 or so. Uh, and you can see now it's much, much, much darker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slide that off to the side. And now for the second example, um, I'm going to do a cube, but the cube has different textures on it um, on different sides. So I'm going to press Shift-C. Center my 3D cursor, Shift A to get a new uh, mesh, and I'll choose Cube. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start by naming this cube, and I'll go ahead and I'll call this. Um, I'm going to use a texture that's um, that has some Legend of Zelda um, graphics, so I'll just call this uh, Zelda Cube, and I just got this um, off of the uh, off the web here. I'm going to go to Add Material, and I'll say New Material. I'll go ahead and call this Zelda, or sorry, Zelda, I'll call it Zelda Mat. And the texture, create a new texture, and we'll call this Zelda, we should probably call it Zelda Crate Text. There we go, so that way I know it's a crate, and I'll call this Zelda Crate Mat. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go to the texture and I'm going to say open. Again, go to my desktop, turn on thumbnails, and um, oh, here it is. It's inside. It's inside this folder uh, here, and here is the crate right here. So there's the image right there. I need to now go to my image browser in my UV window, choose the correct texture there. So there it is there. Okay. So now I'm ready to unwrap. I'm going to tab into edit mode. You to unwrap and there it is there. So you'll see that all six sides are showing the exact same texture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, in the 3D window I'm going to press control tab 
and I'm going to choose face mode. And face mode is going to allow me to select single faces on the object. So I'm going to select the top face, and then I'll come over here to my UV window, and I'll make sure I press A, so I have all UVs selected. And I'm going to go ahead and press scale down, and I'm going to go ahead and scale it down nice and easily. There we go, something around there. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab it, and I'm going to move it over here to the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, uh, the shine is a little bit much, so I'm going to turn the shine off. I'm going to go back to my material panel, specularity, and bring it back down. Okay, so now the top is all set. It's got that, that um, great top there. So now what I want to do is I want to set up the two sides. I want to set up, well, two of the four sides. So two of the sides, I want to have this really great ring texture. So I'm going to scale that down. And then I'm going to grab it and I'll move it up here to the ring. Okay, so you'll see that the ring texture is now occupying it, but it's rotated incorrectly. I obviously want the ring facing sort of more downward. So um, I need to rotate my UV, not rotate my mesh. If I do rotate my mesh, watch this, I'll do rotate 90 degrees, you'll see that my mesh gets all bent and warped and twisted and nasty. So I want to come here to my um, texture here, to my UV, and I'm going to do rotate 90 degrees. Now I realize that the texture is still upside down, so I'm going to undo, and I'm going to rotate now by negative 90 degrees. So R, negative, 9, 0, and now left click, and you can see the texture is correct. So there it is right there. All right, so I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to scale down. And I'll go ahead and move it up to there. So there's two rings on either side. And you can see the texture is rotated incorrectly. So I'm going to do R, negative 90. Now, if, if you're wrong, if it's not a negative number, then it's a positive number. It's pretty, pretty easy. All right, I'm going to take this other side, scale it down again. Whoops. Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, pause my recording for a moment. I had something got a little screwy. Okay, so now I'm going to do the last two sides. I have two sides that look like it has the ring on it. So that's that side and that side. And I want to do this side. And again, the UV is rotated, so I'm going to press R and I'm going to do negative 90. Oops, negative 90 does not work, so I'm going to do 90. There we go. Okay, so there's my texture there, and I'll go to the other side. And you can't really see the other side because of the uh, light, so let's fix that. Okay, so take that texture there. I'm going to scale it down and grab it and move it right here in the bottom right hand corner. Again, I'm going to rotate it. Let's try negative 90. Looks good. Okay, so that's good, and now I'm just going to select the bottom, and again, I'll scale it down, and I'll go ahead and make the bottom be over here so it's that. And even though you really can't see it because it is the bottom of the, uh, of the texture. Okay, so now there's my cube. You can basically see all the different sides. And now it's basically all set and ready. I can go ahead and start duplicating these. Um, maybe rotate it a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. Um, and duplicate it again. Maybe put it on top. Move it over. And you get the idea. You can start to uh, place them a little bit. So maybe I'll rotate it around so we have a little bit different facing. Something like that. Okay, so there are my three cubes. Um, and it's pretty much uh, pretty easy. Um, in the next couple of video tutorials, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually use seams to unwrap a cube uh, and then bring it over into a program like Photoshop or Krita. So then you can go ahead and you can paint or use textures on the six different sides. Uh, but for now, um, this should get you started. Okay, good luck and I'll see you in the next video.